Good morning, Matadors. I'm Morgan. And I'm Chris, and this is your video, El Abiso, for Friday, May 17th. Mr. Syme, this is Ponyboy. I didn't realize it was so late, I forgot. I'm calling about the theme assignment for English. How long can it be? Not less than five pages, but can it be longer? Longer than five pages? As long as I want. It's all in my head, if I can sort it out. First, I have to sort it out. As soon as I get it together. No later than that. Thanks, Mr. Syme. The place to begin, I'd gone to the movies. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of that movie house, I had only two things on my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. Attention seniors, tickets to this year's Safe and Sober Grad Night are selling quickly. Tickets are available now for $85. Tickets are virtual and student ID is required to attend. To participate in our Safe and Sober Grad Night event, all attending students must fill out the electronic waiver. Senior Ball tickets are on sale. Senior Ball is on June 1st at the California Academy of Sciences. Pick up your contract and guest passes from Student Services. Contracts are due before you can buy a ticket. Buy a ticket online or in person this week at 100 with ASB and 110 without. And with that, let's find out what seniors have to say with some senior thoughts. Are you going to Senior Ball? Yes, sir. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, sir. What are you looking forward to? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> going to Senior Ball? Yeah. Are you going with anyone? No. <laughs> no. Are you, what are you looking forward to? Uh, it's at the Academy of Sciences. That'll be fun. You going to Senior Ball? Yeah. Are you going with anyone? Yeah. Who? That one. Hey! No, it's not. Uh, what are you looking forward to? The food. Yeah. Uh, the party bus. I'm looking forward to dancing, you know, dabbing up the DJ. Yeah, just partying up, you know? Yeah, party. What are you going to wear? Um, I'm going to wear this black dress. It's kind of corset. Corset? A corset dress. I got a blue dress for zero dollars from Newkirk's Free Rack. I'm going to wear this uh, purple mermaid dress that has a corset in it. What are you going to wear? I'm going to wear a dress. It's gold and it has like beads and like sparkles and pearls on the top. So, yeah. I am actually making my dress. So I'm going to make a big butterfly inspired ball gown. This all sounds amazing. The library services are excited to announce their summer reading program, which is only open to the first 50 Matadors to sign up. When you sign up, you'll get a few books checked out to you for the summer based on your interest and reading level. The program is very flexible and can fit right into your schedule. Sign up now. The Las Positas College is offering seven career technical education camps, including automotive technology, welding, 3D modeling, jams, press, pass, journalism, jazz camp, and interior design for high schoolers, and creature design for middle schoolers this summer. In addition to CTE camps, there are a variety of exciting opportunities for all students from grades 5 through 12. Now, let's jump into X-Men 97 review. Yo, 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 I'm Moan. Today we're having a very special episode of Dirty News, where I totally don't just steal an idea Chris had and review something. Today I'm reviewing X-Men 97. 
All right, let's get straight into this. X-Men 97 is a modern day continuation of the 90s original animated series. It's a great show, an absolute love letter to the fans. You can truly tell the people behind this are truly in love and, in, and are passionate about the characters, the material, and the franchise. The show understands the importance of the characters and their stories. You can see the amount of love and passion. It practically seeps through, just like visually, like, oh my god, the art, the animation, the action sequences, even the music and the sound design are excellent. They're so good. This is the definition of peak in my opinion. Also, there's a number of references and callbacks, not only to the original cartoon, but to the Marvel Universe at large. They have having cameos by heavy hitters like Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, the Scarlet Witch, and some lesser known characters like Doctor Doom. Baron Zemo, Quicksilver, Daredevil, and Cloak and Dagger. On top of that, it takes these real world social issues and nuanced topics and applies them to the metaphor that are that is the mutants. This show is not afraid to take risks. It takes things from the originals, see what it did well and see things it didn't do well, and is willing to approve upon them. It is not some safe, easy to digest silly superhero show or trying to sell you on some toy like it did back then. It's not something you turn on just to turn off your brain and ignore and distract yourself from the real world. And that's surprising because honestly, given the state of the industry and the state of superhero media in general, trying to be for everyone, it's, it's kind of a miracle that this show even exists. This Because this show is not afraid to portray its characters as flawed, complex, and having these messy personal issues that are straight out of a trashy soap opera. The show has these grand big speeches aimed directly towards people in power and can easily be applied to real world current events. Unlike this 90s counterpart that was always dragged down by just being meant for kids or meant to sell toys and or having TV executives censor the message that the artists and writers had, this time they have no restrictions. It goes there. It does things that the original always wanted to do but never could due to some stupid censorship. It's not afraid to kill off your favorite fan character. And it's not also not afraid to deal with the repercussions of that. It is everything an excellent show should be. Rather, it's everything an excellent comic book adaptation should be. In fact, I feel like if any other show like this were to get rebooted in a similar way, I think this show right here is the blueprint. It's a really good show. You should go out and watch it. If you're wondering, do I need to watch the original to get 97? You don't. Yeah. 97 does a good enough job of introducing characters and explaining the context. I don't think the original is truly needed to fully enjoy this experience. I give the show a very solid 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Oh, and remember, mo money, mo problems. This show is amazing! Do you enjoy physics? Do you want to learn physics? Or do you just want free cookies? Then come to the Physics Club on Tuesdays at lunch in Mr. Clifton's room 404. Granada students will be participating in the Panorama Survey on May 21st during third period. There will be a special schedule for that day where each class will be cut by five minutes. Student survey will take 25 minutes, the results will help our district understand how connected our students feel to the school. Finally, let's take a look at the 24-hour race. My name is Anna Pham, I am a sophomore, and this year I was the operations director for the 24 hour race. I would definitely do it again. I think it was a really, really good experience. It was just so awesome, like seeing everyone have fun and connecting with like the other community members, um, like the other directors and like everyone else that was organizing. I had a great experience this year because not only was it a fun memory for me and my friends from high school, but it was also for a good reason. The experience of the race, it was my first time ever doing it, and honestly, it was interesting and kind of fun. I, I definitely knew it again. But yeah, overall, it's fun. You get to hang out with your friends. You get to walk the track, get your steps in. I made new friends. I don't think I'm ever going to see those people again, but that's the beauty of it. My favorite memory about the 24-hour race was the activities. I would definitely say that um, being an organizer really helped change my perspective. Like, especially, like, having the speaker there, like, speaking with her before, like, her event. Got to see a perspective, like, a first-hand account of human trafficking. It was very helpful to hear from her experience. You have a relationship with the person, and then you get 
taken away very slowly and methodically. The guest speaker, when she started talking, I wanted to cry. I feel like a really common misconception people tend to have is that human trafficking is something that um, can happen within our community. Like, it can happen, but like in other countries and other like states. But I think it's really important to realize that human trafficking can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. We raised, the exact figure is $35,949. Do it, have fun, go with your friends, get your best friends together. I would highly, highly recommend doing the 24 Rays because it is just such a fun experience. You learn so much. We always have so many fun activities, activities planned for you. It's a great chance to earn community volunteer hours while also make, having fun with your friends. So, I'm glad that I can take part in such an amazing cause. That's all for today, Granada. Have a great day and, and stay, stay classy. classy.